Hello and welcome to Health Matters on Channels Television. I am Jomi Otaibi. One of the key factors to human survival is nutrition. Indeed, it's been said that you are what you eat. This is even more important for young children. But as of today, 2.5 million children are malnourished in Nigeria. Why is this so and how can the situation be positively reversed? To answer these and other questions on nutrition, I have with me in the studio a nutrition consultant who until recently was a nutrition manager with UNICEF country office, Abuja, Dr. Bambi Dili Omotola. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. You're okay, welcome. so we're talking nutrition, particularly in, in young children. Um, when we talk about nutrition, we all know we eat and drink. Is that all there is to nutrition? No, there's more to that uh, for nutrition. If we look at the conceptual framework of the causes of malnutrition, it goes beyond eating. It also includes the issue of uh, care. Uh, it also includes the issue of access to health care when a child falls sick. And does that child have access to care so that it will not worsen the situation of that child? And uh, when we also move further down, we see that it's uh, a failure of uh, um, what I was talk about uh, institutional arrangements and governance structure, including the issue of poverty, the classical uh, um, victim that everybody says that the child is minority because the parents are, are poor, they don't have access to the right thing. What I take it to mean that uh, poverty, not in terms of economic poverty, but poverty in terms of access to knowledge and information that a child or the mother or the caregiver needs to be able to look for that child. And let me also uh, quickly correct. Uh, the 2.5 million children that is uh, uh, branded around is talking about those who are severely malnourished. But in actual fact, over 10 million Nigerian children are chronically malnourished. That so what was the difference between severe and chronic? OK, uh, the difference, those are severe, that if nothing is done, uh, majority of them about uh, will die if nothing is done. Some of them may survive, but if nothing is done, majority of, majority of them will contribute to mortality figures. Uh, but those that are chronic, they are not, uh, when you see them, uh, you will not know that they have some underlying issues, uh, like a child that is stunted, that is not growing well, or a child whose brain has been damaged. There's no way you will know that the child is, has a damaged brain. Uh, and these are also uh, arising from a failure of uh, nutrition at the appropriate time. Hmm. So at, at what time does this malnutrition set in? It starts from the womb. From the womb. That's just a short, simple answer. So if you don't look after uh, mothers, wives, or sisters that are pregnant, and which we now refer to as the classical 1,000 days, which starts from conception, to the age of two years, there's hardly anything that anybody can do about that. So if you say it starts from the womb, does it mean, okay, perhaps the woman isn't, wasn't feeding well during the pregnancy? Woman, yes. The woman probably was not attending ENC, antenatal care. So that's why I said that it, it goes beyond the issue of uh, uh, eating well. Uh, the woman is not being cared for. Uh, the woman may also have bouts of malaria. She, she did not know what type of medicine to use. That child may also still survive in the womb. But by the time that child is delivered, you also, the child may be delivered low birth weight. But even then, they may still be able to manage and then deliver that child. And that child will also, could also be managed, they will grow. But at the end of the day, it's not the optimal uh, quality of a child that we would, would need that uh, we'll end up having. Having, okay. Yes. So it's, it's from the womb. It's from the womb. The, from the womb that is till the first 1,000 days. From that the is womb two starting, years. yes. The womb, the 1,000 days is calculated to be uh, nine months of pregnancy and then two years. The nine months of pregnancy um, gives you 30 times nine, that's about 270. And then the two years is 350 times two. Okay, so yes, if... Makes the 1,000 days. If we missed out during the pregnancy period, yes. is there anything that can also be done before the child is two? Yes, and that's where, that's where the emphasis is now on uh, catching them young. Uh, a child that 
for one reason or the other, miss the period in the, uh, the, in, uh, the uterine life while in utero. And if that child is, start, is started very well, then he may be able to catch up. And that catch up must be within the first two years. Because by the time that child is two years, most of uh, the brain cells and every other thing will have been formed. And the basic, and the bu basic building blocks will have been formed. And then uh, even from structural point of view, if you want to build uh, a structure, you start from the foundation. So if the foundation is faulty, then what can you build upon that foundation? And so that's, it also applies to life. Uh, and uh, we, there's one thing that we normally preach, uh, and that's this. If a child is delivered old, alive, you initiate breastfeeding within 30 minutes of one hour of birth. Most of our children miss that opportunity. And then even growing further. Perhaps because the mother has got some um, challenges during childbirth or, or things like that? How many of such? That's so, but, but, but aside from maybe if the woman has other conditions that will not make her breastfeed the child. That's why I'm saying, how many of such women do we have in this country that will have such challenges? So are you That's saying even in the general population, when a child is born and the mother is fine mm -hmm. and there's nothing precluding her look, from if, if you breastfeeding? Look at her, yes, if you look at her indices, you will discover that uh, the number of mothers that are giving their children other food and feed apart from breast milk at birth is very, very high. Up to 20, over 20% 20 of them. Over. And then, and what is the alternative they give to breastfeeding or to the breast milk? And that is the other thing to call to question. Even you, I'm sure you will not take water from the tap or water from the street. You will take bottled water. And that is to be sure because you believe that that bottle of water should is, have been yes, purified, have been purified sterilized, or whatever. So for such a child who is just coming, and you are feeding him with prelactal fields, uh, there are some things they call uh, either the Yorubas call it agbo, the other people call it different names. You understand that you need to clean the stomach of the child. You need to avoid the first milk that is produced because of the color. You understand there are so many fictions. Which in itself is which, good exactly, for the child. Which is very, very good for you. It's the, in fact, the it's the first, the colostrum.